be making a solar still. And at the same time, we're going to be learning about the process of evaporation and condensation. For this experiment, you will need a bowl, something to stir with, a rock, You're gonna take the glass and you're gonna put it inside the water. Right in the middle. And make sure not to get any of the salted water inside the cup because we want it to be nice and fresh when we can drink it. We're gonna take the plastic wrap and we're gonna put two layers over the top of the big bowl. the cup is quite clean. Let's try it. Tastes like old water, but it's clean. The sun's thermal energy causes evaporation to occur inside the bowl. Pure water is transformed from a liquid to a gas or vapor, leaving the salt behind. When the water vapor hits the cooler surface of the plastic wrap, it transforms from a gas or vapor into a liquid. This is called condensation. This also happens naturally on our planet when water vapor in the air condenses and forms a cloud. And when the clouds get too heavy, it rains. Do any of you know what this process is called? Precipitation. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. These are all natural processes that occur on our planet every day. The water cycle. The world has a finite amount of water on it, and it goes through this cycle over and 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 over. 
Maybe this water that I just drank was drank by a velociraptor 75 million years ago. Ew. If you could create a solar still on a bigger scale, you could produce clean drinking water for whole communities. This works for people living in remote or coastal regions in Bangladesh, for example. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Just